Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021 and part 14 of uh, the Journeyman of a Legend and we are in our first World Cup with England uh, in the 2030 World Cup which is hosted in England as well. I'm Joe if you're new around here make sure you click that subscribe button for daily FM content between a Monday and and a Friday. Uh, we are currently on the search for a new club after we left Aston Villa uh, earlier this week. And uh, yeah, we haven't actually found anything yet, which, uh, you know, is fine. Um, I've been able to fully concentrate on this, this World Cup, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're expected to win it. We are the best side in the world, apparently, but it is going to be tough. So let me introduce you to our lucky 23. So... Trent Alexander-Arnold, 31-year-old uh, right back uh, these days and uh, plays for Paris Saint-Germain, worth 56 million, still one of the best players in the world. Absolutely ridiculous attributes and he is going to be a key player. Probably his last major tournament though for England. Ben Chilwell, another man uh, that is going to be in his last tournament. 106 caps and now, 33 years old. Um, he's going to be 34 in de December. I think definitely his last World Cup playing for Chelsea. Still, uh, Marcus Dewhurst, uh, he's had one cap. 29-year-old goalkeeper uh, playing for Bournemouth. Not too bad. Goalkeeper is definitely one of our weakest positions. Phil Foden, 30 years old now. 99 caps he's had. He's going to get his 100th cap in the first match of the World Cup. Um, an absolute world beat. A legendary midfielder. Terrific attributes. Plays for Barcelona these days. Uh, Mason Greenwood, the record goal scorer for England. 78 goals in 100 caps. Um, he's just had his 100th cap as well. And uh, he's still uh, amazing. He's only 28 as well. Uh, Akil Hare Harewood, the first regen that we've come across. 25 years old, 13 caps for England. Plays for Chelsea, £64 million is what he's worth. Uh, Jamie Jordan, our former Villa boy, plays for Real Madrid now. Uh, joined them for £113 million last summer. Uh, still a terrific player and still only 23. 20 caps and 5 goals for him. Uh, then Ben Lakin from... Uh, Leeds United, 23-year-old goalkeeper. We've given him two caps in the friendlies, and he's done all right, to be fair with him. Uh, he, he did all right, and uh, I think he will probably be the, the future of the England team. Uh, he's just had a, a full uh, season at Leeds for the first time in the Premier League and did okay. Six clean sheets in uh, 37 appearances. Chris Lamb, a 23-year-old striker, three goals in 13 caps, uh, finishing of 18. So I'd expect those stats to improve uh, as he goes through. He's been playing well for Chelsea the last few seasons um, and, and came through their youth system. Um, Brian Leary uh, Pooley, 24 years old, comes from Tottenham. Excellent attributes. Again, he's going to be a star for many, many years to come. Reminds me a little bit of Declan Rice, but look how many positions he can play. It's quite ridiculous, really. Uh, Mark Maxwell, we've spoke about him before. Uh, best right back in the world, really, um, and, and is just fantastic anywhere he plays, um, you know, even in incompetent positions. I think he can play reasonably well in them. Uh, plays for Chelsea and uh, has had 17 caps and one goal so far. David uh, Mazzucci uh, from Southampton scored two goals in his first three appearances for us. Has just had an excellent season for Southampton in the Premier League. Uh, 7.44 average rating. Had a very good year last year as well. Um, so yeah, he's, he's going to be a key player. Uh, Mason Mount as well, still at Chelsea. 31 years old again, probably in his last major tournament. I think this is going to be the last one that we really see loads of real players at it um you know certainly world cup wise we might have one or two knocking about in four years time maybe mason greenwood who knows um but certainly going to be interesting 103 caps he's had 25 goals um aaron ramsdale probably our first choice keeper Excellent attributes, 32 years old, he's had 116 caps for England, he's been the first choice for years, had an excellent season uh, at, at Chelsea in the Premier League and looking good. 
Uh, next, we've got Marcus Rashford, 32 years old now, 132 caps, 45 goals, probably playing in his last major tournament for England. Um, again, still very, very good, 13 goals in the Premier League this season, so I think uh, definitely worthy of his place. My favourite player of the series so far is our old Villa boy, John Reyes, who has just had his best season yet, a 7.75 average rating. Um He's just he's just doing great. Twenty four years old, twenty seven goals in twenty nine appearances. He is going to break all sorts of records. And then we got the captain, Declan Rice, thirty one years old now. Again in his probably last major tournament. Still a very very good player. Probably not a first teamer uh, or first choice first teamer. Uh, but one hundred and six caps and nine goals for England. Jaden Sancho. 30 years old now, 77 caps, 23 goals. Still a very, very strong player. Uh, plays for Chelsea. Brian Simmons, uh, my last ever signing as Aston Villa manager. Four goals in three caps so far for England. I think he's going to be the surprise superstar of the tournament. He's 25 years old, but I think he's going to improve a lot over the next couple of years. Matty Stevens, a 25-year-old uh, from Everton. He's just had a good season in the Premier League. Uh, another good striker that we've got. Fikayo uh, Tamori, uh, 32 years old on 96 caps. It would be great to see him uh, get his 100th cap at this World Cup. But again, probably in his last uh, season as uh, or last major tournament. Scott Walden, uh, unfortunate that um, the, you know he's in the same generation as Brian Simmons. He could because he's an excellent player. Bayern Munich player, uh, one of the only ones that plays in a foreign country. Matt Whittles has come in, 22-year-old Sheffield United player. Really, really strong midfielder. Uh, and I think he's he's going to do a great job for us. Uh, just one thing I want to update you about, really, in terms of um, our... Uh, the, the, the domestic season, Aston Villa finished fourth in the Premier League this year, which is a bit of a come down after winning three consecutive Premier Leagues under us. Um, you know, they lost six games this season after an invincible season last year. Very lucky to finish uh, in the top four, but they had some very, very strong individual performances. If you look, uh, Kylian Mbappe, 7.82, Moscara. Uh, 7.55, uh, John Reyes, 7.54, Carlos Vinicius doing well, Brian Simmons doing well, Jan Cavalcanti, 22 goals for him, good for him, Facundo Greco as well, where did he go, um, well he's, he's playing well, so I think, you know, that that they've got excellent players, uh, you know, and, and they're doing a good job with them, uh, Thomas Estevez had a bit of a poor season, which is a it is a bit of a surprise, but hey, there you go. Um, so I just thought I'd I'd update you on how Aston Villa did. Arsenal are the Premier League champions. John Reyes got the golden boot. So uh, here is our first team. Uh, we have got South Korea and Panama in our groups. I think is it Panama. No, Trinidad and Tobago, sorry. Uh, South Korea and Trinidad and Tobago. They are going to be the two matches today. You know, it's it's high stakes, these group stages. We're in the 48-team um, World Cup, so you can see there are uh, 16 groups of three um, and, you know, varying degrees of countries in there. Uh, and, and, you know, the top two go through. So it is going to be a long, old process. It really is. Uh, so we've got the, the group games and the second round, third round, quarterfinal, semifinal. The third place playoff. I do believe if you win the group, uh, you, you maybe get straight through into. Hmm, maybe not actually. I thought I thought you'd go straight through the the third round, but hey, we'll work it all out as we go through the tournament. So let's have a little look at the team that we've got today. We've got uh, Aaron Ramsdale starting goal with Alex and uh, Alexander Arnold, Haywood, Tamori, and Chilwell in defence. We've got Mount and Foden in the middle with Simmons and Mazucci starting wide of John Reyes and Marcus Rashford up top. So let's get into it then. Uh, Football's come on. <laughs> we are at England. Uh, we're starting out at Wembley as well. This will be the first game of the World Cup. It's going to be an absolute cracker. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So here we go. 
Uh, very happy with him. We've brought the football home and I'm so excited for this World Cup. And just, you know, going into it with, in theory, the favourites. Uh, you know, on home soil, the best team in the world. Even though we've had a year where we've not had to play qualifiers, we're still ranked number one in the world. You know, I think this is a wonderful opportunity and I've never really done that before in Football Manager. But here we go. Can we win our first match? At the World Cup, it would be nice if we could put on a good display against Korea today. It's a disappointing first half an hour. No chances so far. Um, here's Kim. And, well, what a shock it would be if Sheffield... Sheffield United. If South Korea beat us today. Uh, here's Young Min's Yul. Oh, great save from uh, Aaron Ramsdale there. And it saved us. Very, very fortunate. But they have got a corner set piece. Which we always struggle to defend at Aston Villa. Here's Young Min Yul again, and Mizuchi gets it. What's he going to do with it? This is great pace that he's shown. Gets it forward to John Reyes, but cleared by Chun Ki Hu. And 40 minutes gone, and I think we've had our panic all right. And not a good first half. Really not a good first half. So I think we're going to have to thrash our arms about and say, How dare you! Uh, do that poorly. I do not know who can play left back. Tamori can apparently play there. And then I suppose Mark Maxwell can go in there. Okay. So here we go for the second half. And I'm hoping that we'll see a much improved performance. We've done really, really well in the in the friendlies and um, you know, we've never lost a game as England boss, but that's a great ball over the top. John Reyes chased, but, but couldn't quite get there. It's away, and now here's Alexander-Arnold. He boots it forward. It's Marcus Rashford now. Marcus Rashford with the chance. John Reyes, and it's cleared once again, and you've got to say that's a big chance. I think we've got to berate the boys here. We've got to try and get them fired up. Come on. Come on. We need this. 60 minutes gone. This isn't good enough. Um, Marcus Rashford's going to come off. Uh, we're going to put Matty Stevens up top. What else are we going to do? Oh, we got. Can Sancho play up top? Of course he can. Yeah. Drakwatista, why not? Uh, and Mizuchi's going to come off and we're going to stick Jamie Jordan on in his place. Right, come on. 30 minutes to, to make an impact on this game now. Jamie Jordan with a header straight away. Sancho to Foden. Now he has John Reyes, but he loses it straight away. And this is, this is worrying. You know, against Korea, we really should be getting the victory here. Ramsdale. Alexander-Arnold gets it forward to Simmons now. Simmons, forward to Reyes. John Reyes on the ball. Can you whip it in, mate? Go on, John. John Reyes into the middle and it's straight to the keeper. What is going on here? Here's Maxwell. Gets it to Jamie Jordan. Forward and forward. Here's Jaden Sancho. And what a finish that is from Jaden Sancho. And that was absolutely sensational. And it was the ball uh, from... Jamie Jordan, that started it all there. Maxwell got it to Jamie Jordan. He got it to Foden. Foden over the top to Reyes. And then Jaden Sancho, first time finish. And Wembley is rocking. We're 1-0 up and our World Cup has truly begun. The nerves have gone. And hopefully we can get a second here and start to, to, to play really well. Hopefully we don't just go and concede. Here's Lee Sung Woo. I'm worried about this. I'm very, very worried about this. Great tackle from Mark Maxwell. Here's Brian Simmons now. What's he going to do with it? Gets it forward to John Reyes. John Reyes gets it to Jaden Sancho. Sancho loses it. Here's Tamori. Out of position at left back. Here's Sancho. Now Jamie Jordan. Oh, well, that would have been super subs to the rescue right there if he'd smashed that into the back of the net. But... It's not, it's not the greatest start to a World Cup you ever want. But hey, if we get three points on the board, that's all that matters. But we very nearly threw away two points there. 
him over the bar. We're going to go balanced now for the last five minutes. XG suggests we have played pretty well. I would suggest we could play a, a lot better than this. Uh, and I'm hoping that once the nerves have gone a little bit and that the hype has gone. Oh my God, what have we done? We've thrown this away. It's a penalty. If South Korea equalise here, this is going to be a disaster. Lee Kang in. What's he going to do? He's the Man United player. And South Korea have equalised. Mm. Well, that is not what we wanted. What a, what a disappointment. <sighs> that, that's just so England, isn't it? It is so England. You have a look at this schedule. Look at the performances we've put in. Against the world champions in the last uh, match that we played, we drew two all. But look at this. You know, other than these two uh, very disappointed performances in November, you know, every, pretty much every match we've played as England manager, we've scored three, four, five goals. It's, you know, sometimes nine. And we've gone against South Korea, who were ranked 25th in the world, and we've drawn the first game. We need a big performance against Trinidad and Tobago. Here we go then for the Trinidad and Tobago match. Quite a few changes we've made here. Sancho, Jordan, Rice and Greenwood come into the squad. Uh, replacing um, Simmons, uh, Rashford, M Mount and Mizuchi. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to, to seeing how we get on in this match. I've also just had an interview with Chelsea, who are looking for a new manager. Um, and it's the kind of project that, that appeals to me a little bit, actually, because Chelsea um, have had a very strange history in this save. Uh, you can see they've been very up and down and actually haven't really been in title contention since 2023-24, when they finished second um, and haven't won the title at this stage since 2016-17 so it's been nearly 15 years so um it's definitely something i'm interested in um i've had an interview we'll see if they come forth with a job offer and if they do maybe we'll take it who knows they have got a terrific first team squad a lot of our england boys are in here as well um so i think it could be quite a nice fit really but uh We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if they offer us it, um, and and then we'll, we'll we'll make a decision from there. But let's get into it uh, against Trinidad and Tobago. Now South Korea beat them six one, so uh, <laughs> we need to we need to beat them at least uh, by six goals to to get through to uh, top of the table. Uh, otherwise, we're we're gonna have a pretty difficult run. You would feel. In the, in the World Cup if we finish second in our group. And that would be a big disappointment either way. So I'm really expecting a, a big performance today. Uh, just to prove that we, we can win the World Cup. Here's Tamori. Now to Chilwell. Gets it forward to Jordan. Jamie Jordan on the ball to Foden now. Foden to Greenwood to Chilwell. Chilwell gets it in. John Reyes scores. And it's already 1-0 after 6 minutes. And John Reyes with his first World Cup goal. Um, I believe, unless he got one in the 2026 World Cup, which I guess isn't far beyond the realms of possibility. Uh, maybe under Mourinho, not sure. But there you go, terrific finish, and it's 1-0. Whew! <laughs> Takes the pressure off a, a little bit, uh, and hopefully we can rattle off a few past them today. Here's Ford and uh, Tamori now. Tamori to Harewood. Harewood to Greenwood, Greenwood forward, John Reyes on the ball again, John Reyes still going, gets it in, but straight to Thomas, and that happened in the in the last match as well, and that, it's just a bit of a disappointment. Here's Harewood, now back to Ramsdale. What can he do with it? He gets it to Tamori, Harewood, Sancho, go on, 
Sancho to Alexander-Arnold. Get it into the middle. Come on. Rice into the middle. Ford in. Oh, no. Well, again, we've had a, a good chance there. Tamori with the tackle. Here's Jordan. Chilwell, end of highlight. You know, I'm looking at this, and we'd be playing Ireland currently, and I, I think I'd rather play Ireland than, uh, than, than Colombia, to be honest. So it could be a stroke of genius finishing second in this group. Here's Chilwell to Jordan now. Jordan on the ball. Passes it forward to John Reyes now. Here's Jaden Sancho, and that's surely a penalty, is it? No. It's a, it's a way. Good header by Haywood. Here's Foden. Foden to Jamie Jordan now. Jordan loses it. And it's just pathetic. It really is. We're not playing well. Here's Sancho. Sancho on the ball. Sancho shoots. Reyes. How has he missed that? You know, these, these boys should be raring to go and we're just not doing it. Ah, oh, I didn't look what stadium this was, by the way. I don't know if any of you guys seen. Maybe it's the, the George Ramsey Stadium. I will have to have a look. Ford and into the middle. That's nah, over the the bar. Let's have a little look. Um, no, Nottingham Community Arena. So, um, yeah, I don't really know who plays there or why. Why we're playing there. Did Aston Villa eventually move in? This was something that I wanted to check. Because of course it was delayed wasn't it? Um, have Aston Villa moved in yet? Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Facilities isn't it? Yeah they, they have they have moved in. And uh, well they're there now. <laughs> And those are the matches that they had. So what was their first match there? 2-1 victory against Newcastle on the 22nd of January. So it was delayed again. That's crazy. Um, but it'll be cool if we get to play there in in the World Cup. Here's Alexander-Arnold. Gets it forward. But uh, Charles gets it away. Harewood to Foden to Rice. Declan Rice loses it. It's just sloppy. What is going on? Harewood. Alexander-Arnold. Back to Harewood. Here's Rice. Rice to Sancho. Alexander-Arnold. Here's Greenwood. Now Jamie Jordan misses the target. We should not be only 1-0 up uh, against Trinidad and Tobago. Here's Rice. Gets it forward to Mason Greenwood. Oh my word. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it's just just not on, really. France 2-0 up against Canada. Turkey 1-0 up against Mexico. But I'm just really disappointed, actually, so far. Really disappointed. Alexander-Arnold gets it's away, straight away. Here's Harewood. Alexander-Arnold, come on. Get it in there. Yes, Reyes. Oh, how have you missed that? I mean, apparently we're playing well, looking at the average ratings. I'm not seeing the same. I'm seeing really sloppy play. Here's Sancho. Oh, my word. Surely that was a dive. But end of highlight. I mean, we've had 29 shots and only 10 on target. That shows you something is going wrong. Here's Hernandez. Gets it wide, but Jordan cuts it out. Jamie Jordan on the ball. Come on, Jamie Jordan pushing forward. Gets it to Mason Greenwood. John Reyes scores. Well, finally, 2-0 just before the 50-minute mark. And John Reyes scores his second goal. And got to be pleased with that one. It was a decent move. But we need more. We need more. Come on. I'm going to encourage them. No, oh, they're not happy with that. Uh, you know, I think encouraging them to do better is, is exactly what we should be doing. Here's Tamori. Harewood. Harewood on the ball. Gets it to Sancho. Forward to John Reyes. Should have been a hat-trick. Should have been a hat-trick. Wow. Oh, here we go. Forward and into the middle. Tamori's there but loses it. Here's Sancho now. Sancho. Can he get it in? 
he keeps going Sancho in and it's just cleared straight away right what can we do to change this up Mason Greenwood's coming off I'm going to stick Chris Lamb up top Sancho's going to come off for Simmons Declan Rice is going to come off for Mark Maxwell I don't know maybe it'll work Simmons away Reyes, here's Jordan, Jamie Jordan now, what a run this is, Jamie Jordan still going, Jamie Jordan scores, 3-0, right, come on folks, let's get three more goals and let's top the group, that's what we need to do, we do not want to be playing Colombia in round two, it will give us a tougher path, Chilwell to Foden, Foden in, Alexander-Arnold, yes, 4-0, come on, this is much better. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what we need to do. Game in, game out in this World Cup. We need to be playing this fluent football. And that's a great finish from Alexander-Arnold. 4-0 now. Come on. Alexander-Arnold gets it forward. John Reyes runs onto it but loses it. Oh, he has Foden. Now Jordan. Jamie Jordan. Go on. Oh. Just shoots a little bit too soon sometimes, Jamie. 40 shots now. Here's Lamb. Loses it. <laughs> Warner. Warner on the ball. Chilwell to Jordan. Come on, we need more. Tamori. It's Chilwell. Chilwell to Simmons. Brian Simmons scores. It's 5-0 now. We've got 10 minutes to try and score one more goal. That will get us top of the table. Unbelievable. Chilwell getting it in. And a great header from Brian Simmons. And it's 5-0. Come on, boys. <sighs> Squeaky boom time now. Here's Alex Alexander-Arnold to Reyes to Simmons. Simmons to Maxwell to Alexander-Arnold. This is much better. And I really hope this kick starts our tournament. Chris Slam scores. It's 6-0. Oh, that is a big relief. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you just cannot you, you cannot make it up. I mean, Trinidad and Tobago have, have, have fought so hard this match and defended so well. Um, they must be shattered, and I think that's what's going on here um, in this last 10 minutes. And, and, you know, you look at that and you know 45 shots and that's just ridiculous but there we go that's what we needed to do a 6-0 victory there in the end oh boy we needed that today and hopefully that gives everybody a little bit of of confidence now as we go forward in the competition we've topped the group and hopefully that means you know we're going to get a decent uh second round opponent and and hopefully we can we can go on and uh, and 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 have a, a positive tournament now. So we've got of course the the World Cup second round coming up, and that'll be into tomorrow's episode. Um, so let's have a little look at the second round. So we will be playing second in Group B, who we think um will be Colombia or Ireland. I'm not entirely sure which one's more likely. <laughs> Rafa Benitez. <laughs> Rafa Benitez is manager of uh, of Ireland, everybody. Uh, Colombia 13th. So you'd expect that Colombia are going to be um, our second, our, are going to top the group. Uh, and then third round, France or Mexico, uh, if we beat whoever we play. And the quarter final. Um, yeah, it doesn't say yet. Semi-final, potentially Italy in there. And, of course, in the finals, it could be South Korea. We could be having a rematch. Somehow, I don't think so. But if they play to them, you know, they, they were probably the better team on the day. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, then give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more FM uh, content, and especially in this World Cup. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.